So now let's figure out how we're going to get the bike shape we want. So let's bring ghost. Let's come to cameras, hit B. And now let's hit B on this side view. Okay. So we have Taros giving us this rounded shape that we want. Now we have to figure how to pull out this outside shape from the Taros. We don't want to like, you know, merge anything. We, we can get it from this, you know, Taros, you know, you know, so that it's smooth and it's one object. You know what I mean? You can, you can draw this side and attach it to it. You know, I want to show you some modeling too, right? So let's try to get it from, from the Taros. So we have this, let's get out from selection, zoom in and start thinking. So I can see that we have to pull out all these polygons. So let's come to polygons. We are there. Let's start selecting from here. Hold shift. Let's start selecting from here. You know, I think we're good with that brush. Let's get it. You know, maybe this one too. Maybe, maybe up here is okay. Let me get this one. Control, get this one out. See, because, you know, when it comes out, then we can get it from. So, so we, we have selected this size. All right. Now let's jump back to perspective. Okay, B and B here. Okay, look around. Go back to selection. Now we have what we have selected. But from looking, I can right away see that we did a lot of selection. We don't need this row over here. Okay, we don't need that row to be pulled out too. I think we'll be okay with just three rows so let's deselect this row real quick okay so this is modeling in houdini you know you're looking around you're tumbling you're figuring and now you have a shape you want to go for you know in the mind all right so we see that you know when we pull that you know it will give us something all right okay cool let's hide um this thing the old bike now let's call for poly extrude okay so we got some polygons going on so let's call for it poly extrude boom okay now we have poly extrude and we can we can extrude we see the bar here but watch when i extrude it's extruding right but it's getting the polygon stay the same and it's getting wider and bigger because the everything is moving based on this bars direction we already see that you know situation when we try to pull edges out right so can we keep it like this yeah we could but it will give us a lot of work maybe and do we have options let's see maybe the transformation will help us so let's get back let's go control z and and let's go for the transform right so we have some transformation where the bar is heading to something like where we want it to go so let's pull it out and see what we are getting you see we get something we get a pool that is not wider remember how remember how this was see control z this is getting wider you know as as you are pulling out let's let's get crazy see it's getting like an umbrella you don't want that you know so control z control z time to transform see what transform is giving us is, is going just along you know the axis based on the faces the normals you know the polygon faces right so that is where it's heading and it's not getting you know 
wire that like an umbrella shape you know that will give you something hard to work on so we can see that we even have directions to go we can pull it this way because we want it to be coming this way you know we want this straight to match the edges right so the transform was better for us with the locals right we could have used global but the local is working pretty good for us right now so we have this we are able to pull it out some something like that you know what i mean okay so how do you get that shape going on let's go to points if we select all these lines here all these points you know we are on the on the on the move to right and i click outside i start selecting by row by the way let me show you something very 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 important it's similar to the transform thing in the poly extrude you see now we have the gizmo and i can see that it's going uh, on the local axis based on the point right so do you have ways to control how these gizmos goes yes if i if I bring my mouse here and I right click, I have this menu here. That is not what we want. You will need this menu pretty soon. And you can see a lot of options that you can do when you have this menu. And you get close to the, this metal. Look, when I get close, you see the metal kind of pop. When the metal pop, right click there. Now you have the handle where you can change the orientation, the axis, where you want the gizmos to go so that you can operate right. Let's try object. Boom. The object is giving us some, some other orientation. So from this Y axis, we know like we can pull that point very good, but that is not what we want right now. You know, we can use that, but I want to show you other options too. We have weld. Let's see as we are changing the alignment how the gizmo is doing so the the object and the word is kind of like almost the same but it's depend on the view on the viewport you know it might be different in certain situations let's go for c panel that gives us a different alignment let's go for component so before it was component you see you remember this you know orientation so before it was the component that we have so let's go for another one. We can go for word and other stuff. But I think what we are interested in right now is the view. Boom. So the view is allowing with the view of the viewport. You know, every direction we go, we still have the view. We see the square is facing us and the Y and everything. Even any direction we go. So we will stick with the view for now because I think it will help us in what I want to show you. So I got this point. Let's get all this line the points you know by selecting them one at a time okay now let me show you one thing that can tell you when you are selecting stuff because these points are curved right the gizmo is somewhere in the middle like you know if i draw a line here the gizmo is aligned somewhere there because it's using those positions right you know if i only have this point it will come up here but when I, what about if i grab a point from here accidentally whole shape grab this point see where the gizmo jump to you know you grab more you see where the gizmo is right so that will tell you when you are selecting sites uh, stuff in the viewport and you don't see because i want to get this line and you don't see your gizmo being up here somewhere and it's somewhere like this it means you grab something wrong you know from here i can tell that i have grabbed something because the gizmo is supposed to be up here right the gizmo is supposed to be up here so what i will do is i'll hold shift i mean control i'll hold control but you know i can't get it back now so what what happened is you have to you know deselect those you know points okay so let's get back and let's do it again let's get these points again right let's call for the move to we already have view as the alignment okay so let's get these points see how 
it started let's do it again you see how it will start with a with a point and then it's following the points and then when this one and this one it will jump down a little because it's trying to align the line you know but if i grab one here boom you see it will jump here that will tell you if you are not looking that will tell you that you grab something wrong because it's trying to align between them so this is what i was trying to do earlier i will hold control and deselect this boom and it will jump back to where it's supposed to be so shift and keep selecting these ones okay So we get that line look around you know you can see that we only have those lines and this what i'm about to show you will work only on a straight line it will be faster if we can get all these up at one time but you know it only works at a line and it makes sense you know what i mean i will explain it in another class but this time let's call for what i want to do so if we get far from the two from the gizmo like I showed you earlier, and we right click, we have this many. And with this many, if we come down, we have strengthen selection. Boom. What it does is it give us a line. It line up all the points as a straight line, which is very cool. You know, it's lining the points for us because we want to get them as flat, you know, and then we can work on it. So let's do the next row real quick, okay? Okay, so in no time, I'm able to flatten the area like how I want it. I can even do that for all these lines to get a perfect flat surface. But I don't want to like, you know, waste a lot of time. Okay, we, we will keep it like that. So for now, let's see how we can get the shape we want. Okay, so we will select everything. Okay, and we still have what? We still have... still had the view as our orientation you see a tumble a mixed one so let me get there okay look around you get all the tops okay now we can move it a little bit you see move it let's introduce the rotation now let's rotate it a little bit Okay, let's get back to move. Let's scale it. Too much. Let's move it. Let's get back to, to the view, calling the ghost hit B and get to the side view okay so from the side we can see that you know we are getting the shape right but it need a little tweak so let's get in again let's come to the edit call for the move move it here a little bit okay we can move it down small something like that and you know we are getting that shape all right okay let's call for rotation a little bit all right you see we're not gonna spend a lot of time so i think it's it's okay for now so i like the alignment so far but it's not perfect but let's keep moving let's get back to perspective now what I want to show you is, you know, I want to introduce 
let's introduce some divisions around where we have work okay so let's call for edge loop let's pull one here you know let's pull one here boom if we pull one here remember edge loop we can tell it to give us more so we have more okay we have all this stuff and if we want we can select we can get out from this select all the polygons around this side okay hold shift select all the polygons around this side okay look around and blast it delete it boom you got that deletion all right so let's go for a tool we haven't used right let's go for polyfilled So if I come up here and I select all these edges, see I got that. And if I call for polyfill, it fills it for us. See, it fills it and it gives us that flat surface we were trying to do earlier. You see how there are so many options around. I wanted you guys to see how you can straight up your, your points, which is very important. You know, I mean, that's why I show you that important way of laying down the points to get it straight but you could have just done what we just did delete the top then polyfills it you know how good the polyfill is that for you the polyfill is crazy too we have a lot of options that you can go through and 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 have you know stuff that you would like to mix with okay okay cool so we have something like this and now it's only on one side okay it's only on one side select everything all the polygons and in here you don't even have to because you might even call it from the the network hit tap on the keyboard go for m for mirror it's right here boom get it and connect it to the line bring your video or display boom and you have the mirror going on see but the mirror is where it's not like close enough for how we want it and you see the top here is getting closer because we move those manually so that will not align right for us but here we didn't touch it so this is what is telling us that we still need to push the distance get it closer so let's come in and start messing with with the distance and see what happens so we'll get it like that like close it's okay so how do you fix up here when it's overlapping like this you know it's just around this top area that is easy we have to introduce edit but we want to do it before the mirror right you know the mirror is joining both sides so if you push this node down we already see how to push nodes down and work before that node right so we have to select this node the polyfilled, you know, we won't stop happening before the mirror, right? So that should be selected. And now let's go to the points. Let's select one point and call for move. What will give us? It will give us an edit node in between the fill and what? And the mirror. Okay, let's call for move to boom. We have an edit node between the fill and the mirror. So what is good about this is the mirror is still working because the display is there, right? But we are working on the edit. And if we move this point around, we are able to see stuff happening. So we are able to align it at the same time, getting the mirror going on, okay? That is cool. See, this taros is also able to give us that shape we are looking for that is so cool you see we have something similar you know the inside here is popping up it's easy fix you know all we have to do is select those points and push it down so 
you know, we have the ship. That's what we need. The rest is very easy. So we did pretty good, even though it took long because, you know, I was still explaining. I can't just go on without explaining stuff to you, you know, because this is a course. So you have to get those details, right? Okay, cool. So we have some more work to do in the next class. You know, we have to align the two, get all the details, some design going on in here, and then the inner thing. So the next class will get this inner design here in the two, get this design going on on the side of the main shape, and we'll do all this, we'll do this bully in the cut, get this shape so that the, the rear bike or the rear tire for the, for the bike will show. So we will cut in here with the different tools. See, so little and little, basically, we are almost touching all the tools. We see subdivision, we use clip, we, we, we use knife earlier in the course, you know, maybe fuse we have in which is important. Maybe the next class I will touch that. So we almost, you know, through with most of the basic tools, right? The only thing is it's up to you to get in, try them, just mess with a box and get detailed with the tools, all right? Okay, cool. So thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you in the next class. All right, have a night.